Why do I do this to myself? It doesn't benefit me. People don't like it. People get mad. But you know what? I have to say it. I have to say things that people get mad over. Because who else will say it? Not you. This has got to be me. Alright, so since the lights are off over there, I'm going to actually take off my glasses this video. I guess there's been a uprise of Skyward Sword Lovers. Lovers. Now, throughout this entire video, let me remind you that Zelda is literally my favorite series. There is a reason I have this tattoo. It's the start of something grander. Keep that in mind when I tell you that Skyward Sword is not a good Zelda game. But for some reason, again, I've been having arguments constantly on the internet. And I know it's a loud minority. I just know it. Anybody who actually respects Zelda as a, as a franchise, as a game, knows that this is... They went the completely wrong direction with Skyward Sword. Totally wrong. Exactly wrong. The, the opposite of right. Wrong. And it pisses me off that people are like... Like when you give praise to a game like this, you're making companies think that is a good idea. And then people start making crappy games. And I am so glad that this is a more recent thing. Because if this was a reception in 2011, then we would not have Breath of the Wild right now. And that makes me fucking tremble. This is why Skyward Sword sucks. Reason one. And by the way, this is uh, there's a reason why everything's like this right now. Because it's 1.30 in the morning. And I was busy today, but I have to make this video. So it's gonna happen. Motion control. A lot of people say that you know, it, you know they try something new and it doesn't hinder the, the gameplay. You're a liar. Yes, they tried something new. And simultaneously it failed. We knew it was going to fail by the, f the first time we saw it when Miyamoto did the whole bully uh, thing with the bomb. And it wouldn't work, you know, half the time. It just wouldn't work. It just wouldn't work. And then sometimes, you know, it actually worked. Yeah, he was on stage, things could happen, you know, things go better in, you know, your house and stuff like that. And everybody did, does have a different experience with motion control, but controls should never do that. People shouldn't have different experiences with the controls in that way. Not understanding the controls or not being able to use the control as well as others is different than... It actually works with this person, and it doesn't work with this person. For me, and for many others, you had to resync it over and over and over again. Because the Wii Motion Plus, it didn't use the sensor, the R sensor, it used the Motion Plus. It, but it was primitive technology. It's what is in Switch, but like 20 times worse. But the thing is, it just wasn't optimized correctly. Doing one-to-one -one swordplay in Wii Sports Resorts, Way more functional, a lot quicker to readjust than in Skyward Sword. It's annoying that if I didn't do this, then he would not do that. Also, stabbing just straight up doesn't work 75% of the time. It really is like I'm trying to flip two coins that have three sides, twice. And there are bosses that require the stabby motion. And I like, there, like, it's not, and it wasn't just me, like, uh, whatever. I literally got so mad at the game. And this was still, I still remember this from 2011. I got so mad at the game, I'm like, I'm there, I'm just playing it, right? And I'm like, stab, stab, stab! Like, I'm literally standing up just to do something. And then it finally works. But you know when it works? When the motherfucker shuts his eye. That's not that's not good gameplay. I shouldn't be aggravated by controls straight up not working. And people say, people try to tell other people that the controls were totally fine, like their experiences didn't happen. Like, I know what I did. Maybe it worked fine for you, but it, controls shouldn't be inconsistent. People shouldn't have the same experiences with not working controllers. Usually, it's either all or nothing. Reactive or they weren't. But it's usually universal, unless if somebody has a broken controller, then that, that's that person's fault. It's not the game's fault. But the game was optimized extremely poorly.
poorly for controls in general. And this is just the controls I'm on. Like, they kind of worked with the Beetle, even if you had to, like, kind of dick around with it a little bit, because it gets, like, halfway through, it gets, the sensor gets off again. It still worked. And the bowling, again, you know, it worked most of the time, but it was, again, it was a pain. The controls were just a straight up pain. Like, they really expected you to stand up and do complete full motions. It's like, I'm not working out, I'm playing Zelda. Like, I get it, one on one sword combat is cool, and the idea was novel, but it's not, it didn't work. So, that's just the controls. Bam. Number two, hand holdy as balls. The game literally points you in the direction you need to go. You can't refute that. What is dousing if it's not literally pointing in the direction you need to go? Yeah, technically, like, oh, well, you have to find a way to get around this rock. But the world isn't complex enough to really make that a puzzle. And I will get to that later. But right now, it's literally pointing you in the direction. Never did I find any of the actual dungeons hard. Like, I didn't really have any sort of complications with any sort of dungeon. I just played Link's Awakening on stream and that hurt my head. And that was from 1993. Stuff was hard. And I mean, yes, I am, I am, my mind works with 3D Zelda way more than the, it does 2D Zelda for some reason. Like a third dimension still makes more sense to me. So I don't know how it works. However my brain works, that's how my brain works. But if, even if I compare Skyward Sword to the most recent released 3D Zelda game, fully 3D Zelda game, and that was Twilight Princess because everything before after that was 2D or 2.5D, like isometric. The, first, the last fully 3D Zelda game was Twilight Princess, and that was still hard. Like, again, Link to the Past is harder, yes, but it was still hard as... A Zelda game. It was still felt like a Zelda game in how everything was built. But literally the game of Skyward Sword literally just tells you, I uh, go here. Oh, uh, you use this thing to tell you exactly where to go. Okay. Uh, there's a cat uh, playing. The, uh, it's I, really early in the morning is when they play and that's why I stay up. That's not, I, it's not, it's because I have no life. That's the reason why I stay up. Anyway, back back to the non-distraction. It's literally Fee. You only feel bad for her in the last act. The rest of the game is just like, eh, she's she's a computer in the sword, basically. That's how they're portraying her. But now, oh, now we have feelings for her all of a sudden. The entire time, it's just her telling you where to go, or telling who telling you who to talk to, and it doesn't really get that complicated and then once you get into the dungeons they're mediocre you know they they look cool you know Zelda's never looked bad but they were they still pretty basic and basically it's gimmicky it's the game is an entire one entire gimmick like the key the keys were a pain in the ass you know because none of them fit within a certain rotation you basically had to use two hands to figure out where the key lie, like that's not fun. I like I shouldn't have to like the puzzle part shouldn't be how I put a key in the door. The puzzle should be how I get the key. It's just shoehorning a mechanic that doesn't need to be there. Breath of the Wild was able to get away with it because it served the puzzle as a whole in like a couple of the shrines. Plus, it actually fucking worked! So, it's insanely handholdy. It tells you exactly where to go, how to do everything, and the dungeons were basic. TLDR, bam, doom. Number three. The world sucks. Skyloft is a cool concept. And I understand how they were going with the story. How it was executed was awful. Now, I'm not just talking, I'm not talking about looks like Barry did. No. It's the fact that how segregated the world is. 
instead of having Hyrule and everything is interconnected one way or another, you go through holes in the sky to drop down. And then you get a little section that you get to run around a little bit. You see everything you need to see within about 10 minutes, give or take. And then you just have to figure out how to get into the dungeon, which is, oh, you need to find this thing. Let me tell you how to point at it. Okay, I'm finding the thing. Yay! Like, that's exactly what I want for my Zelda game, is levels. Because that's all it was, it was three levels. You go up in the sky, you go to Skyloft, you talk to people, the other islands are as very frivolous, you got one island that's a bar, and you get a heart piece from it. Cool. Whatever. And then you got some small items that you... Yes, you do get heart pieces from it. And there are mini games, But completely optional, completely small. It, it's a, and it's a lot, a lot more flying. A lot more boring flying than there is actual world. The only fun part about Skyloft is the actual main part of Skyloft and then the temple you have to go to which takes like a half hour to fly to anyway and you know that's where you get all the most of the things that you get is that place you know you got the bazaar and stuff like that which is the start of an RPG element but again execute it was done poorly it was hardly required actually no it wasn't required you could have gone the entire game without even using a shield really getting that magic shield you're done with it you're just done. Like, you can upgrade your items, but it doesn't benefit you a whole lot. Like, I don't see myself going back there, ever. And that's the only place that felt like kind of a town area. The rest of it is just empty fucking sky. It's like Wind Waker, but like less majestic and just more boring. Like, yeah, Wind Waker going through the sea wasn't the most fun thing, but every island you hit is more or less interesting. And you, and like, the music was a little bit better to kind of like really make you feel. But yeah, the music is not bad in Skyward Sword. A lot of the pieces are actually amazing. How boring the flying was, it didn't really make me feel like I'm going through an awesome sky. It's like, this is where I live, and then I go through that hole. Again, three holes they go back to. So small ass areas that you retread. And yes, they do change uh, each time you go back. The desert area being the biggest change with the time stones, and that was a cool concept, and it works. That's probably the coolest thing the entire game has ever done is the time stones. Still in a small area, and it still it still feels disconnected from the world. Everything is disconnected in the game about adventuring. So the world sucks. Everything is segregated and pieced awfully and this insanely linear because like you go there bam do it like I don't mind linearity in my Zelda games but they'll make it feel like it is it doesn't feel like I'm on an adventure I'm, it feels like I'm doing tasks it feels like the game is a chore and that is trying to fight against me with the controls full circle bam only thing that I could say that the game exceeds in, not is just good. The only thing is the story. Story is fantastic. It was a really great way to start the timeline chronologically. I just wish the gameplay complemented it, but it doesn't. Gameplay is messy. Traversing the world is messy doesn't feel like a Zelda game 15 year old self was super disappointed at this game I tried playing it again and I still couldn't it has nothing bringing me back if I even want look through the story I'll open up my Hyrule Historia and read it I'll watch a YouTube breakdown of it the gameplay and how you go through the world is not interesting enough for me to want to come back and the fact that people were saying that this is their favorite Zelda game actually hurts me but yeah it's their opinion 
but it's wrong. Like, yeah, you're allowed to have your opinions. I'm just allowed to hate your opinion with a burning passion. It is not a good Zelda game. In general, it's just a mediocre adventure game that has a gimmick. The only thing that's that keeps it good is the story. I like how there's an origin to Gandorf. So with the demise stuff, I know I like how reincarnation, how they explain that, and how Hyrule became a thing, and the actual story beats are fantastic. But everything that pieces it together, broken. Like at first, there, there's like, yeah, a new Zelda game is 3D and it's on the Wii and motion controls. That seems like a cool idea. But then you play about 40 hours in one weekend. Don't question me. And then you think to yourself, I just was pissed off the entire time. But then you, but you, like, the story ends in such an amazing way that you still, like, kind of look back at it fondly. But then you play it a second time, and then you're like, why? Why is the game like this? I can't fucking stab! Why isn't the stabbing working? Why is, why is this enemy a dick? Why is it I'm only doing horizontal slashes and he decides to do a vertical? What the fuck? It's just... It, it's a mess of a game. With a great story. And the fact... That... People... Put it higher than... Most Zelda games... Or any Zelda game is... Baffling. Like, how can you... Put... A game that is the most casual Zelda ever, holds your hand, has broken gameplay, no connectivity whatsoever in its world, and put it higher than a revolutionary 3D action-adventure game that did everything for the industry. Because without Ocarina of Time, most games wouldn't be the way they are. And people don't like to, don't tend to think about that. Each game is great in their own way, one way or another. Even if you see that there are flaws with Ocarina of Time now, there were not flaws back then. The game did basically every first for 3D. You know, being able to transition to 3D, being able to, you know, adding Z targeting, which now, the first game that ever did it was Ocarina of Time, and every other game that is a 3D action adventure game, use that idea because it's such a good fucking idea! Skyward Sword is a gimmick. That's all the game is. It's to show off the one gimmick and tie it with an actually good story. And that there goes my ramblings. That's all I gotta really ramble about. And I'm so glad they did not follow the route they were going because we got Breath of the Wild. And it is the step in the right direction. It is their first attempt at a completely open game. And I think they nailed it. Yes, it has flaws. But, that does not outweigh the positives. Where Skyward Sword has a little flipped. <laughs> so my, 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 TLDR, it's a bad Zelda game and I don't understand why people like it. Because they shouldn't. I mean, they do. It's your, it's your life, whatever. But I don't like it. So, if you like this episode, thumbs up. If you want to see more from us, subscribe. And until next time, bye.